Okay, abandoned dog. He's on a big mission. George is a 140-pound Newfoundland. He was homeless when he was taken in by his, well, adopted human, <laughs> Colin Campbell. George went from being abandoned to becoming one of the most popular surfing dogs in California in less than a year. You can see why. Just look at George. I love it. Campbell has written a memoir about their experiences together called Free Days with George. And the two of them are in the Twin Cities as part of their nationwide tour. We are so happy to have George and Colin with us on Mid Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having us. <laughs> no problem. I love how George is just kind of hanging out on just the couch. Chilling. Just chilling out there. <laughs> yeah. Tell us how you two found each other. Well, you know, it, uh, our, our, both of our beginnings were a little challenging. George, uh, George yeah. was, uh, yeah, yeah, he's going to want to sit down. Yeah, to here. bring that up. Oh, yeah. Does he want to say hi? Yeah, come, come on over here. Hi, sit. George. Oh, <laughs> that's a lot of slobber. <laughs> there you go. I love it. George, uh, George was homeless, mm -hmm. and so he was looking for a home, and uh, he's a big dog, and uh, he, yeah, he had, is. had suffered some neglect and, and had some issues. Uh, so it, it was hard for him to try and find a home. And then at the same time, uh, my marriage uh, ended very unexpectedly without a lot of discussion, and uh, and I was pretty devastated. And so your wife at the time just moved out, right? Yeah, I came home from a business trip, and I up until that day I thought we were very happily married, so there were no signs of it. And oh, wow. so uh, you know when that happens and you're on the wrong side, it was tough to deal with. You feel alone, very it, alone. It was it was tough, and yeah. you know I speak very candidly in the book. I I fell into some depression and. Uh, my uh, my friends, my co-workers, I, I managed to sort of get it together for work, and they they noticed, and they said, "Look, you want you adopt a dog? They're they're loyal," yeah. <laughs> and um, you know, so it was a tough situation. But I felt a, I I could help George. I found him online uh, on a dog rescue site, and so I thought I was doing him a favor and by saving him. But as time went on, I realized he was he was saving me back a lot more than than I was for him. Is that why you decided to kind of put this all down into a book? Because I mean, we've heard so many, you know different conversations about how rescue dogs have done that for yeah. their adopted humans. Yeah. So for you to put that into a book, and especially with a fun character like George, must well, have been therapeutic in itself too. In, in a way, for sure it was. I mean, George and I had, by the time I started writing the book, we had gotten through the worst of what we were dealing with. But, um, you know, his story is so unique because, yeah, we moved to California, we got transferred. He was, he was really cautious mm -hmm. of me. He didn't trust people. And the book's really about how he learned how to trust and and become uh, become loving and, and social with with everyone, not just me. And in the process, I, he really you know opened my eyes. I mean, I was I was still angry about my my sure. marriage, yeah. sure. and I realized he left the past in behind. So maybe I should do the same thing. Now George is a giant dog, 140 pounds. How do you get a 140 pound dog <laughs> to serve? I, yeah, I mean, like this is amazing. It, it, it's a lot of fun, trust me. It's really great when you get to do it. He just jumped on the board on his own, guys. You know, I never really encouraged him, and he was always free to get off and never get on if he didn't want to. But he he loves it, and every every time he sees a surfboard, whether I own it, which is sort of embarrassing, because he'll go up to any surfboard and try and get on it. <laughs> but the local, it. local surfers in Huntington Beach, they all know George, and they thought it was cool, so they're were, they were all pretty encouraging for him. So now you and George are on a mission to help other dogs. Yes, so one of the things that we're really lucky is that, you know, we've worked with Pedigree and they've got a great uh, program called Feed the Good and they're helping uh, serve up 10 million bowls of food to homeless dogs across America. So we're helping with that process and we're donating food uh, to shelter dogs as we go along. We've you got a big old bus too as yeah, part of the tour? Yeah, that, that, that bus is amazing. Oh, uh, cool. Yeah, it's obviously there's a giant picture of George in the book cover. That's life size, that picture. <laughs> yeah. right. So we're on that bus and we've got it full of books and to sign and uh, at bookstores and we have it full of food to give out to shelters and uh, it's, a, it's a great experience. Oh, and you have a book signing here in the Twin Cities. Yeah, we're going to B B Bone Shaker Books tomorrow uh, at 2 o'clock. And so we're looking forward to that. We have a Facebook page that has, uh, you know, thousands of people following George. And um, it, uh, it's nice because we have a lot of friends here in Minneapolis and who we've never met in sure. person. Fun. And now's the chance. Yeah, yeah. Come Your background is in marketing. <laughs> you were in sports marketing before you became a full-time author. So you know a little bit about selling, right? A little bit. Yeah. You know, <laughs> as an author, it's an advantage because... Uh, 
you know, I, I sort of know the process, but I'm learning it as yeah. I go, and it's exciting. Well, you have to have a great story to tell, and you yeah. do, for sure. Thank you. And that book signing Saturday, Bone Shaker Books, by the way, uh, we put it up on a graphic there. It's on 23rd Avenue South in Minneapolis. So we're have a great time. Yeah. We're looking, sure. fantastic. looking forward Thank to going. You can yeah. understand why people were oh. drawn to George. He's going. Oh, George and is there out. he goes. All George right. is going to sign some Thanks, books George. with Mike and John. <laughs> is he going to go do weather for me? Is that <laughs> what's happening? Well, that does he look is, like where he's, he's going. He's yes. heading back to yeah, the he green screen right now. He's an excellent.